You're watching CTV News Channel. Coming up, going boldly with a brush. We'll hear from a Vancouver artist who's pitching to hitch a ride to the moon on a SpaceX rocket. That story's coming up after the break. This week, Elon Musk revealed the first passenger who plans to embark on a mission around the moon. Japanese billionaire Yusaka Maezawe will ride the big Falcon rocket on a trip planned for the year 2023. In an announcement, he said that he plans to bring a small group of artists with him on the maiden voyage. Well, Michael Makarovsky is an artist from Vancouver, and he wants to be aboard that flight. He joins me now from our Vancouver studio. Welcome, Michael. Hello. This would be quite a voyage, my friend. What inspired you to try and get involved in this? Well, it's uh, been a childhood dream of mine to go into outer space. And uh, when, since I became an artist, I had a dream of going to outer space and making a painting in outer space, more specifically on the surface of the moon. And when I woke up from that dream, I, I thought that was ridiculous. But then the more I thought about it, I thought, maybe it's actually ridiculous that it hasn't happened yet. Uh, we've trained pilots to go to outer space and to take photographs. But we've never sent an artist to go into outer space to take photographs. And I think they'd be very, very different things. What makes you a qualified candidate? I mean, obviously, I can see your passion and your desire. Um, but what else do you think is going to sort of set you above the rest? Well, I've actually been essentially training for this mission for the past 10 years. I had the honor of being part of the Canadian Forces Artist Program, which is known as the War Artist Program. And I got to go up to the North Pole uh, with the Royal Canadian Air Force in 2013. And I made uh, landscape paintings in the minus 40 degree uh, weather. Mm -hmm. And then the year afterwards, I was able to fly in a CF-18 Hornet uh, faster than the speed of sound while I was making landscape or cloudscape drawings of, uh, you know, what the life is like at uh, uh, Mach 1 and 1.5 and, and pulling all of those Gs. So I'm not aware of any other artists uh, around the world who've been in training for a lunar mission for the past 10 years. So how are you planning on reaching out to the SpaceX team and sort of putting your pitch forward? <laughs> well, I would love if people tweet out about it, you know, use the hashtag paint on the moon or Markowski to the moon. You know, and I, I also want to use this as an opportunity to encourage other people to think about their own dreams and express their dreams. We sort of just leave that uh, to the realm of children. But I think as adults, we abandon those dreams. And I want to encourage every Canadian watching me right now to think about their dreams and to, and to shout out their dreams. And just like I have, I have like the most ridiculous dream in the world, <laughs> but people are now coming around to the possibility. Musk and Miyazawa, you know, they, they are visionaries. They've seen that Space travel is a, uh, is a possibility for everybody and to bring artists around to help document that experience so that we can share it with the billions of other people who may not be able to go there, I think is a, a gift they're giving to the world. Well, putting an artist into space, not so out there after all. Michael Markowski is a Vancouver artist trying to get on the SpaceX mission to the moon. Michael, I wish you well. Stay in touch with us. Thank you. I will do. Thank you. And Japan's space agency has made history after landing two of its robotic explorers on the surface of an asteroid. This is an image from the small rover after landing. They'll be taking photos and collecting samples in hopes of providing clues to the origin of the solar system and life on Earth. Europe's space agency previously managed to land on an icy comet, but this is the first time rovers have gripped the surface of an asteroid. A mothership is expected to collect the samples from the rovers sometime in late October.